he 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 would do that. I mean, everyone does it. it it's just because you don't see the things that he does uh, either never or not very often. That's for sure. Um, it, it's really hard to pick one quality because I think I think what he doesn't get enough credit about is his unbelievable attitude in games. And that is like, you know, there's games where he's gotten absolutely just abused physically. Like the other team thinks, all right, we're going to go physical against him or we're going to, and and he gets knocked down. He just gets up and gets on with the next play. Doesn't even, doesn't even say anything at times. Like he's, he's very, he's been very good over his entire career in that regard. So his, his attitude within the field, the respect of the game is tremendous. But when you talk about all the other things, he just can do everything at such a high level. Like some guys have a couple qualities that are good. He has every one of them. I mean, there's not one thing that he doesn't do well. And then you just go with his vision, his his intellect and his eyes. I said this before, his IQ, if everybody else is at, you know, really good players, like really top level players are at like 150, 160 soccer IQ, he's at 300. I mean, that's the difference. Just that good. Um. <laughs> Go ahead, go no, ahead. no, go ahead. Go ahead. I'm waiting for it. <laughs> um, I know last night he started, played the full 90, um, gets a pretty good Monterey squad. Um, they got crushed as a team, but just what were your impressions of the team and of him? Just I actually back? thought they started out really well. They were actually bossing the game in the beginning. They were good on the ball. They, they their possession was good. Their 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 just movement and circulation of the ball was very, very good. And their 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 awareness to try to win the ball back quickly was excellent. Um, I, I, I still think they tried after they, you know, they had the mistake with the, the first goal. I think they tried, you know, they, they, they tried to put on a good face and, and, and keep a good attitude. Um, but I, I just think it, 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 it got difficult for them because at that point, the other team got a little more confidence. They're at home, the crowd got into it. And then, and all of a sudden everything, the momentum shifted. Um, but uh, there was still actions in the game where they were. You know, I'm talking about in the final third, attacking final third, they were they were really dangerous. You know, the ball's off just a little bit or whatever. And if it is, it's on, they're they're on. They're a team that I, I've said this uh, many times that, that like you get some chances against them, but they're gonna get some chances against you. And the thing about it is most of the time they actually finish them. I don't know. Coach, uh good question. Uh, do you have any special line out for the coming game? Or the other one, the, you are the first the player as a, a, a soccer player as coach, also the longest the, uh, head coach for MLS. And then you want to back to the the the, uh, the field. You've been a soccer player before. Any special thought from you? Well, I, 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 I'll take the, 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 the first one or the last one first and say, yeah, I mean, it, it, it's, it's special in the fact that I, I said this before in 2010, we played Manchester United, probably one of the most famous teams in the world in the same stadium. And we got, you know, whatever, 54,000, 55,000 people, whatever it was. And it was a, it was a monumental moment for soccer in Kansas city. It was a monumental moment for, uh, for sporting Kansas city at the time. But the difference is now is you're talking about two MLS teams. It's, it's not, it's not, it's not a team from a foreign country coming in. It's two MLS teams playing a game and the, the stadium's going to be sold out, you know, at 70,000. It says a lot about the growth of our game in this country. It says a lot about the growth of the game in, in Kansas city, um, which is tremendous. Uh, the only other you asked about, you know, do I have a lineup, whatever I I've only petitioned FIFA. If I can put 15 guys in the field, that's the only thing I've done. Peter, uh, some rule changes looks like announced for, um, kind of loosening up or maybe making the spending a little bit more flexible for teams. Just what are your thoughts on the, where that looks headed, uh, with the DP and U22 slot situation? I, I think it's, I think it's great. I, I think it's tremendous. Um, it, it, I think that the more flexibility that we get and the more autonomy we get to run our cap the way we want, as long as we stay within the, the price points, if you will, the, 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 you know, the financial aspect of it. But if, if you're a club that wants to, you know, uh, construct your roster one way, um, you shouldn't, you shouldn't have to construct it the same way as everyone else. You should be able to be like, I, I think when, when, 
when you're looking at a cap in sports, I think what you should be uh, applauding is creativity, right? You, you, you can't be the league and be upset that, you know, a team finds a loophole or a team finds a creative way to structure a deal. I think we have to get to that world where, where we applaud that. We don't look upon that as being a bad thing because the whole idea is that it's, it's kind of like, it's kind of like the person that, you know, the person that uh, in everyday life, one person spends all their, all, all their money and all of a sudden something happens and they're in a really tough spot where the other person stays for a rainy day and something happens and you know, they, they got an emergency fund and, and everybody should be allowed to, to live and do it the way they want to. And obviously there's gotta be some, you know, uh, guardrails there and, and I'm all for that. But I, I think when flexibility comes, it, it, it really helps because this market is not the same as a lot of other markets and we need a different way to be able to build our roster. And then, uh, just with health of the team, Johnny, uh, we've seen him out in training this week. Is is he available uh, to be on the field and, and play? Some I probably week? won't be able to decide that until probably after tomorrow, because you know, like he just did some 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 sprints at the end of training today. I wasn't out there for that. Um, he's he's I mean he's he's been doing the work. Um, maybe you guys know or not. He just had a baby girl yesterday. Um, just a lot of other things that are, are going on, but um, uh, he looks he looks in a good place. It's just that how does he recover? How does he feel? That type of thing. Messy factor aside, how motivating is it to try and play your best after the last two home result and dropping some of the points there? I think, look, I, 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 I thought we had a great response in the game against Toronto after the LA game. Um, I think there's a positive in the game. The other day, we scored three goals in the first half. We tied the game. Um, do we want to be in that position? No. Um, do we, do we realize are the things that we have to be better at in moments of the game? For sure. Um, MLS season's long. We got to, we got to execute. I'd love to see a, a response. Like I saw in, in, in Toronto, I would love to see that. Um, but I, what I do know is that this, this group, they, 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 they don't, um, uh, they don't take the things that we discuss, you know, usually on Tuesdays, especially after the last opponent we just played, they don't take those things lightly. They understand. And we, and we've, we've had some good training sessions this week, working on some of those aspects. Um, you know, there's a fine line between it because we also have done a lot of really good things up to this point. And I want to make sure that those can, things continue to keep progressing as well. Hey, Peter, uh, obviously this game has got a lot of attention, more media moved to a bigger stadium, all that. How do you approach it? Is it, is it, like a big game or just a regular game, uh, you know, cause it is a regular league game and how do you approach it with your team? Well, it, it, it is, it is a, I mean, it is a league game. Yes. But I, I, I mean, I, I can't be naive and not understand like, look, I'll, I'll, it's a privilege for a lot of the guys to be able to play against the best player in the world. I mean, that's a privilege, right? And, and so there's going to be something there, but when the whistle blows, you also have to realize like, to your point, we have a game to play and, and, you know, is it a home game? Yeah, it's a home game. It's in our, it's in our home, you know, uh, uh, community it's, it's there, but at the same time, it's a little different venue. So we're going to be, it's not like, it's not like it's, everybody feels comfortable because they've played there so many times. I mean, we, even when the guys came in, you know, like, you know, like we went in there yesterday and a bunch of guys were like, wow, this place is really big. Yeah, it is. Um, <laughs> and wait till tomorrow, you know, wait till Saturday. Cause when it's full, it's, 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 it's pretty impressive. So, um, I think it'll be an interesting game for, for our guys as well. Um, but I think you have to, your approach has to be the same. Your approach has to be, Hey, it's a game. And when the whistle blows game on, let's go, let's go play. Just uh, speaking to that all fact of just being an arrowhead on a soccer pitch, just um, is it is it good to get those guys in there and get them comfortable? And do you think that, you know, even with the sold out crowd that y'all will have some kind of home field advantage? I would like to think so. I mean, I think, look, I'm sure I know this. There's a lot of people coming in from outside of here, you know, outside of our community to come and watch the game as well because they don't, you know, they don't get opportunity. So it's like when Michael Jordan play, I, I knew people that flew over from Europe to come and watch him play in a game. So uh, people are going to do that. And and my, my feeling is, is that we have a, another opportunity in that regard. We have another opportunity as a league to, to, if they're, they haven't been soccer fans, maybe they become soccer fans. More importantly, maybe they become sporting fans. And then, and, and those are opportunities for us to, to, uh, uh, you know, to provide them with, with, with entertainment that, that they feel good about. And that hopefully they'll become MLS fans and sporting fans.